Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about Tick Tick and its Notion integration. So if you use both of these apps, Notion and Tick Tick, then this might actually be a good thing for you. The integration is fairly simple to set up, but I did run into some issues as I was setting it up. So hopefully I'll show the issues that I had that I ran into. I was able to reproduce the actual problems that I was having before. So if I can reproduce those issues to show you if you run into those, what you can do to get around them. So let's go ahead and set this up. Let's go through the settings and then into the integrations and import. If we scroll down to integrate, we'll see Notion here. We'll click on that. We'll click the add integration. And when we add the integration, you will need to log in to your uh, specific account for this here. And then you're going to be prompt for for uh, permissions to uh, the workspace that you want to actually set this integration up with. Now, if we go ahead and we click next and agree to these permissions, then we're presented with the option to either leverage the template that's provided by TickTick, or we can go ahead and integrate with a page and a database that we already have set up out there. Now I'm going to start with the page option first. I, you know, just for me, I think most people will already have a database out there that they might want to sync to. So I'm going to select this page. You can see I have all the permissions set up here. Uh, most people probably, if you're security con conscious, then you're probably not going to want to have everything set up um, for a tick tick to have access to. You're going to want to limit it. This is how I originally set it up. So I set it up right now to this lab page that I have for this particular testing. And we're going to go ahead and say allow. Now, once I have that, it will present me with an option to select which list on the tick tick side that I want to uh, set up for this integration. And then also the database on the on the uh, Notion side. So from here, if I go in and select the database, let me go in and take a look at the name of the database. So I don't have one set up yet. Let's go ahead and create that. Just going to do an inline database here. And we have the, let's give it a name. We'll call it um, post lab and this is just uh, for social posts we're going to make that assumption we're going to give it a date property we're going to need that and we're going to set up a description property here which is just a text property and yes that one's set up as text so we have the database that we need it's called post lab and if we go back to the integration setup, what we'll do is see if we can, let's go back, go ahead and add integration again. We'll do next. We'll select page. We already still have the lab shared here. We'll go ahead and select this first test list and then we'll go and choose the database so we can see the actual database now we'll go ahead and pick that and then we'll say next and then in the integration we get to set up these different properties that will be associated between uh, tick tick and notion the date is date the description is description and the status i don't have a status so let me go ahead and set up a status here Come in here Let's type status there should be a predefined one there okay we have a status set up and let's go back in here we will see at the top here let's do a refresh so that the everything kind of gets pulled in that we just created and now we have the status showing up we'll go ahead and select that and then once we have the status we need to configure what's complete and what's incomplete 
starting with the complete we want done and then anything that's incomplete we want it to be in progress or not started so we can see these are done um, you can set up the default here maybe we'll set the default to be not started for anything that's incomplete and then we have complete and then the default so if you have multiple settings or statuses for these different two you can set up which one is the default now there's also a more here where you can configure some additional properties so let's go ahead and set up the property our uh, priority and the tag properties here go ahead and so priority and for priority what we're going to do is make it a single select it's going to give it options of high medium and then low go ahead and keep those and then the other one was tags and we'll pick the suggested one that's sitting there and we'll keep that as multi-select we'll keep that one we will go back to the configuration here and let's go ahead and run that refresh again then we'll go into property let's see we've got the property there we'll go ahead and map the different statuses high it's going to be high medium it's going to be medium and low it's going to be low and then the tags we'll set that one so tag all right so now that everything's set up we'll go ahead and just hit integrate then integrate again if you have any any tasks set up in a previously set up database already it will take just the first uh, 200 as it mentioned there and this does sometimes takes a little bit of time we'll say got it and let's go ahead and close out here and we'll close out here all right so now we're in the notion test one and if we switch over here we have the notion database over here we'll go ahead and expand that to full screen and there's nothing in either one of them so let's go ahead and start off on the tick tick side and we'll just do a post one post two and maybe just do three of them here post three actually let's wait for that we'll create the post three on the notion side let's go in here let's configure a date two we'll do 11 or tomorrow for one we'll do it for today uh, we will put some text in the description and then let's go ahead and give it a tag as well so we'll hashtag this is an event and let's just make this one a product and we got that there all right so these are set up and now if we switch over to the notion side we'll see they're not there still so the sync process is not instantaneous so I'm going to go ahead and and kick off a sync right here and let's see if we can force this to go ahead and sync a lot quicker so we don't have to wait around go over here no and let's hit this sync and this could take a while I've seen it take up to five minutes if not more sometimes just waiting around now while this is actually going what I'm going to do is go ahead and create one of the tasks over here and this is going to be a post three and in here I will set this one for Wednesday we will put a description in there and we will actually let's set a status of in progress for that one we'll say this is medium and no tag we'll leave the tags blank on this one here 
All right. So let's also go in and let's set up the a different integration here. Let's try to sync one more time. Let's see if that works. Still taking its time. Let's go ahead and set up one more integration using the template. So we can come in and we can set up using the same workspace that we have. We just need to edit this one. If you need to add in another workspace, you have that option here as well. We'll go ahead and edit the one that we previously did. We see the first integration there and let's set up another. Keep these options. We'll go ahead and say next and then we will do the, we will leverage the template that's provided by, by Tick Tick here. And we'll just go ahead and click it so that it goes to the next screen here and here we can select the list that we want. Now it doesn't ask us for an actual page or a database because it's going to create that using the template. So we'll just go ahead and hit integrate. We'll integrate and we'll let that go. Okay, so we can see the integration is successful here. If you run into any problems here, this one actually went okay this time. Um, if you run into any problems, let's go ahead and do got it what you can do is you can go back into the permissions so if you hit integrate and this is only if you run into an issue with setting up the the template one i've had an issue there select select page and then in here all you need to do is either select everything here so that all the different ones are selected you can go ahead and back out once you select or click a allow access and then uh, let it do its thing. And then if you want to go ahead and reduce the amount of access again, you can come back in here, select this and then only leave the two or one that you want to uh, tick tick to have access to. So if you want something to have access when you're going through this process, do not delete any or uncheck any of the uh, these pages right here because you will break any of the other integrations that you have set up. This particular permission or access is for TickTick -tick in general, not for the specific integration. So we'll go back on this one here. Go back, back. Basically just cancel out of this one here since we're done. And now that that integration is done, we should be able to come in here. We have the two. And if we go over to Notion, we'll see that we have a page and a database over here as well. So let's do a test two post one. We'll give it a date. We'll give it a description and we'll set a priority there and we'll leave it at that now let's go into tick tick and we will force a sync again and we can sync either use that notion one maybe use both i've tried them both um, i'm not sure exactly which one is better than the other it seems like this particular one works most of the time so you can use this one we can see that that came in and if we go to the test one we see that this one actually did not actually sync here so that could be an issue sync and sync yeah so not exactly sure why this one did not sync and the other one did but if you run into these problems I think these are probably more more likely a permissions issue so let me come back into the settings go into notion migration and let's go in here got everything set just save it again see if that kicks it into gear and we're all set.
All right, so you see I had to go back in again and save the settings and eventually it started syncing. So it can be a little bit hit or miss, but once it's set up, it should be pretty good here. Let's go ahead and update on this side here to and we will put one there and let's go back into tick tick and see if these things update we'll sync this over So we got this one synced, that one synced, and the number three did not sync over. So a couple of them did sync here. It's kind of super weird that some of this is working and some of it is not. So let me come back here and actually it looks like over here this one here got overwritten and I've actually seen that too where the depending on which changes you make where and the sync process it could overwrite one of the the objects where you edit it here last but for some reason it resyncs everything over the changes that you made so the, the synchronization process definitely seems to need a little bit of work and tweaking so that it's uh, much more reliable. So we put the three there. Let's come back over here and let's try it again. And maybe it's because I'm in it and it's open. Let's see. All right, there we go. So that did sync over and yeah. Everything seems to be working the way it should be right now. All right, so you can see that it's a little bit finicky and a little bit hit or miss here on the synchronization process, but once you get it going, it should work fairly well. If I come in here, you can see in the, the, uh, the sync task itself, there will be properties that will show up in here. So if you have some properties on the other side in addition to what we've already set up those will show up here too and if we come over here let's actually configure one you will come in here let's do a single select and let's just put a label call it a label here one two and three all right so we will give three two and one and let's see what this looks like when it sinks over it should create another column or another item here and then show up here in the in the task sync All right, there we go. So this property label showed up and then the value of that showed up as well. Now you cannot edit these properties over here. You can only do it over in Notion, but at least it does show the information over here in TickTick. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, have a nice day.